Hi there, welcome back to my channel. My name is Molly, I'm the maker behind Lefty Knits. And today I have something special for you to celebrate a very special occasion. Today, March 17th, the day this video comes out, marks the one year anniversary of our adoption of our cat Lola. Now Lola's made a few appearances on this channel before. She's very cute, she's very fluffy, and I'm gonna make her a sweater. I don't think she's gonna like it very much, but it's been cold here. She might wear it. And most of all, I think it'll be cute. And she doesn't really hold a grudge, so she'll get over it if she doesn't like it. I don't want to buy new yarn to make a cat sweater out of because I don't know how well this is gonna go over. Instead, I'm gonna use this red yarn I have. It is, um, it has cat hair on it already, so we're getting a head start. Um, this is Stylecraft Special Erin in the color Lipstick. I bought this intending, I think, to make like Santa hats for babies with it. They ended up making reindeer hats instead that were way too big uh, for the first Christmases of most of them. So I have this yarn. Um, it's just been sitting around. The label got ripped off, but it's somewhere over there. And I am going to make Lola a little red sweater. Now, I've already gotten approximate measurements from her, which was a little bit difficult. I'm not going to make a gauge swatch, which might be a mistake, but I, I mean, I'm planning on making this stretchy. I might make it an all over rib. I haven't really decided um, exactly how I'm going to do this. So I figure you all can come along on this journey, see how this goes. I'll create some sort of approximate pattern um, based on what I come up with, a recipe, if you will, if you want to make your own pets uh, a sweater. I feel like as a knitter, I would be remiss to not try to knit something for my pets, you know? I made her a crochet or a bed she didn't like very much, so I have to try again. <laughs> anyway, before we jump into me making this, um, I will talk briefly about my hat that I'm wearing. Um, this is the Muscleboro hat by Isolde Teague, a very popular pattern. Um, I mean, I, I've been wearing this hat a lot. It's one of the only hats I have, uh, really. So, and it's been, like I said, pretty chilly in the Bay Area, lots of rain. Um, this is knit in, Jada Wu Designs um, fingering weight yarn. The colorway is Jada Wu. And yeah, I mean, I really love this hat. I really enjoy this yarn. I'm planning on making another muscle burrow for myself in a slightly more neutral color because this does clash with some of my other knitwear, which makes it hard to wear sometimes. Not that I really tend to care very much. Um, but yeah, I'll link the pattern and of course I'll link uh, Jada Wu yarns down below so you can check them out for yourself. Let's jump into the knitting of the cat sweater. I began by casting on 36 stitches. Lola's neck is about 10 inches in circumference and I wanted something that would be a relatively tight fit, so have an inch or two of negative ease. I arranged these 36 stitches on my double pointed needles and I began knitting in knit two purl two rib for about one and a half inches. Now the gauge of this yarn was given as 18 stitches over four inches. So if I were knitting to gauge, I would get an eight inch circumference of this neck. Although I do also know that I'm generally a pretty loose knitter. Following the rib portion, I worked in stockinette. So first I knit around flat and then I did increase rounds, knitting first five stitches and then knitting one stitch in the front and back loop and repeating that around. And then following that, I knit one round even. I repeated these increases, knitting six stitches and then knitting seven stitches and then knitting eight stitches before doing the increase in the front and back loop. I'll have outlined this further down below, but I ended with 60 stitches and I checked to make sure that I had approximately the circumference I wanted, which was 15 inches around. 
Following that, I knit six rounds even. Lola's legs are about five or five and a half inches apart, and her legs have a circumference of three inches, so I semi-scientifically decided to put each leg hole nine stitches from the beginning of round, and I bound off six stitches for each leg hole. So I started by knitting nine stitches and then binding off six. I then knit until I had 15 stitches remaining, bound off six stitches, and then I knit the remaining eight stitches of the round. So I had nine stitches remaining on my needle on that side just before the end of the round. To close up the leg hole, I knit to where each leg hole had started, so I knit 9 stitches and then I cast on 6 stitches using the backward loop cast on method. I then knit around to where the other leg hole was and I did the same, so I cast on 6 stitches to get me back up to 60 stitches again. After I finished casting back on for the legs, I knit in the round until I reached my desired length minus one and a half inches, and I knit the ribbing for about an inch and a half before I bound off in pattern. Now for this ribbing, I again did knit two purl two ribbing, and I made sure to bind off loosely so that it wouldn't be too tight on Lola's stomach. All right, I finished Lola's sweater. I have tried it on her, I don't know if you can see cat hair on it but there's cat hair on everything in this house that's what happens when you get a fluffy cat it does fit I, t I well i tried it on before i um before i set the ends in because i wanted to make sure that it would work um it does seem to work i will now go ahead and have her model it for you let me go put it on her and show you guys are you ready are you ready I know. You hate it. Hold on, let me make sure. Okay, it goes this way. I know. I know. It's okay. Don't go. No, let me put your foot in. Let me put your other foot in. No. Okay. Your claws stuck in it. Here we go. Yeah. There you go. What do you think? What do you think? Do you hate it? Show the camera how you look. Yeah. You look good. <laughs> she is not a fan. Hi. Do you hate it? I'm sorry. <laughs> Aren't you so happy that we adopted you and not someone else? All right, I'm back in front of the camera to show off this little sweater. So yeah, I, I made it. I'm happy with it. Uh, Lola's not happy with it. You can see see in the footage that she was very much not a fan. Only left it on her for like maybe 10 minutes or something to see if she would get used to it. And she started to walk around a little and she was like walking really funny. Um, so this is probably a one-time experiment. If it's really cold, we might try to put her in it again, but I feel like she doesn't think she can like jump or do stuff in it. So it's not the type of thing we'll be leaving on her, you know, and not watching her while she does it or while she's wearing it. Um, I do want to let everyone know in case it looks like I am just a very bad cat mom traumatizing my cat child that she... <laughs> She, uh, she got over it very fast. I have some footage of her, like, an hour or two later. So she, you know, she's over it. Um, I don't think that she would look forward to another go-around with this sweater anytime soon, but it was a cute experiment. Maybe, uh, maybe I'll get a cat in the future that will enjoy this. Um, or I'll pass- or a dog, you know? Maybe I'll get a little dog, pass it along to someone with a little dog. I don't know yet what I'll do with this, but um, 
I mean, overall, I think it's, I'm happy that I did it. Hopefully I left enough information for you if you want to make one of these for yourself. If you do, I'd love to hear about it. If you, you know, have made your pet clothes in the past, I'd love to hear about it. Does your pet enjoy it? I mean, a cat enjoying it was probably gonna be a big ask. But I have knit a couple dog sweaters that have been received uh, well by the dogs in question. So is there anything you've ever knit for your pets that they liked? Because I'd love to make, or, or crocheted, I'd love to make Lola something that she would like. And so far I'm over for two with the bed and the sweater. Although the sweater, I think we probably could have all predicted. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like and subscribe to my channel. I make videos every ish Friday, two or three Fridays a month. I'm at the end of my PhD grind, so things are a little bit hectic over here, but um, you know, I'm still, I'm still doing it. I'm still doing it. I hope you have a great rest of your day and that you come back next time. I'll see you then. Bye.